Hi guys, um, my name is EJ and I'm on my friend Brody's channel today. I'm going to be doing my shoe collection. I've been collecting for like, since like second grade, but this is, this, all this right here is like my collection within the last two years. So, um, let's get into it. So the first shoe we have here are the Yeezy Slides, the pure colorway. Um, these are really comfy. I bought these at Sneaker Culture, which is in Indiana, if you guys know what that is. It's a shoe event. Um, I bought these from Jumperman Chris, if you guys know who that is. But the only thing, these are super comfy and I like them, but they run super small. So, like, all Yeezys do, but if you're going to buy Yeezy Slides, I would get, like, a size up. Like, for instance, I wear size 10. I should have gotten 11. This is a 10. They're kind of snug, but they're super comfy, and I wear them the most out of all my shoes. The next shoe we have is another Yeezy. We're going to be doing Yeezys, Dunks, and then Retros. So these are my first pair of Yeezys. So that's like Yeezy shoes. Um, these are the Reflective Belugas. The Beluga 2.0. Or no, the Reflective Beluga 2.0s, I think. I think, yeah. Um, I got these at JD's, if you guys know what that is. They're really nice and comfy, but I can't wear them a lot because... I don't really wear orange like that, so, but they're super comfy, but they're also kind of snug. I wear a nine and a half, ten, and I had to get a ten and a half, and, um, I had to take out the insoles, and they're still kind of tight. So, the next shoe that we have here really sucks, I'm not gonna lie, because my grandma got me these for Christmas, and, um, I wanted to keep them, but they're just too big, and I don't want to sell them, obviously, because my grandma got them for me, so... This shoe that we have here is the Championship Red Dunk. I've literally worn these once. Oh, what's that? I've worn these once. Um, as you guys can see, I haven't cleaned them or anything. But I want to try to size swap if possible. They're really clean, red and white. You can't go wrong with them. But I'm going to have to like wear two pairs of socks if I wear them. Which I'll probably do that soon because I do really want to wear them. Alright, so that's it for the Dunks and the Yeezys, so now we're getting into um, Retros. So this pair, I don't really like ones if I'm being honest, but this is probably my um, favorite pair of ones that I have. Or oh, they're the only ones that I have. They're my favorite. Actually, no, I had the new level old though. Another thing I wanted to say, this is not my whole shoe collection. We might be doing a part two, probably not, but if we ever get around to that, we'll be doing it. I have like I don't know how many other pairs, but these are the patent leather bread ones. Um, these are really clean. I've only worn them twice because I'm afraid. I'm kind of afraid to crease them because if you crease leather, you can get it out. But these you're not getting out. For patent leather, they're actually pretty comfortable. I thought they were going to be stiff. But ones aren't my favorite, but I do really like these. I did pay. I paid a good price. I'm not upset. But, yeah. So the next shoe we have is a pair of Jordan 3s. So we're going to do one, two, I don't, ones, twos. I don't have any twos. I have threes, fours, fives, six, sevens. I have a pair of eights, but they're not in this video. Uh, nines, I don't have a pair of tens. I don't have a pair of elevens. I have two pairs, not in this video. Twelves, I have a pair, not in this video. Thirteens, I have a pair. They're in this video. And fourteens, I don't have a pair. So these are the Wolf Gray 3s, which... As you guys can see, they're creased and they need ice really bad. The stars are gone. But these are my beater shoe. Um, I beat these up, wear them a lot. Obviously, why they're a beater. Um, yeah, they're kind of small, but they're a good shoe to just mess around in and do anything in. So, for the next shoe. Um, we have a pair, another pair of Jordan 3s. This is one of my favorite shoes in my collection. The um, Cool Gray 3s. Uh, yeah, these came out this year. They're really underrated, I feel like. Which, most people don't like the yellow, which I do. I think it's clean look. And, like, the multiple grays people don't like. but And they have a special box, which they've been doing with all the 3s now, which I like. Um... Those I probably wear one of the one of my most worn shoes. So yeah. And they're one of my favorites. These are the white Oreo 4s. 
I got these uh, at a local place here named or called Grails in the mall. Uh, usually their prices are kind of steep. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, these I got for a good deal. I got for two fifty, and they were worn like once, but you couldn't even tell. There was just like red ne or orange neon stuff right here, which I got off with acetone. And yeah, now that brand new, they're like four fifty, I think. The next shoe we have is the um. All right, the next shoe we're getting into is also another four. Fours are probably my favorites. Um, the red thunder fours and the bread fours, which I just sold. I've had like four pairs of bread fours, three three pairs, and I've sold them all. Then I buy another pair. But I'm gonna. I just sold my recent pair. I think I'm gonna get a pair of red thunder fours because I really want those bad. But I'm gonna wait for the restock on the Nike sneakers. Um, these are the UNC fours. These came out, I don't know when, but I got a pair on sneakers, which is actually one of my best things I've got on sneakers. But um, these are a different pair, actually. Um, I bought these used. They're pretty good condition. They were kind of beat up when I got them like the suede was, but I just fixed them with the suede brush. Actually, my friend fixed them. Um, the tongue, I know like a lot of people cut this off. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. I just hate when you're walking and it's like gets stuck on this little eyelet right here. I always tuck it in, which that's probably my only complaint about these shoes. But I've worn these shoes like three or four times. I don't really wear them that much. My next shoe is a pair of fives. Um, these are the Oreo fives. These are one of my favorite shoes in my collection. They go with everything. Me and my friend Brody actually waited in line for these, which... They're very underrated, I feel like. I feel like this should definitely be like... I mean, fives are underrated, but fives are probably my favorite shoe. But I definitely feel like these should be one of the shoes of the year, in my personal opinion. The next shoe we have is the Neymar Neymar Fives. He's a soccer player, I think. These are the Neymar Five Lows. These are actually... Excuse me. These are actually sold, but um, I got to ship them out. I traded a pair. He got games for these and 20 bucks. So they're in good condition. This is all reflective. If you guys can see up close. And a cool thing about these. This one says 10. This one says 23. Which is unique I feel like. And it's like infrared. Lace lock's pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah. They're all reflective. Which is cool. Because you don't really. You don't see that that much. Um, the next shoe we have is the Raging Bull 5. This is not the OG box, as you guys can see, because it's like the hardwood is the OG box for these. This is also my favorite shoe that I have. These Oreo 5s are cool gray 3s. Um, I don't, I've worn these like three times probably. But yeah, a lot of people have them, but they're just my favorite shoes and I like them. The, it's like carpet suede kind of, I feel like, like rough suede. So if you get it like wet, you're pretty much done for. But, yeah, I like the icy sole and the reflective tongue. Um, this box is actually for the top three fives, which I also have. But they're in the ice box right now, so they're not in this video. These are the, oh, Rate the Blue Fives. These just came out today. These are also sold on my Instagram, EJ23.sneakers. I resell the new and new shoes on there. Um, yeah, these are sold. They're pretty clean. I just thought I'd put them in here since I have them right now. Uh, yeah, they're really clean. I like the icy bottom and the reflective tongue, lace lock. But also, it's like the suede, uh, the carpet suede, like the Raging Bull 5s. If you have a pair of Raging Bull 5s, you know what I'm talking about, like that material. Which, it's kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. These are the Carmide 6s. These are... Right along with the Wolf Gray 3s. These things are beat to the ground. Um, the material on these. I mean. It's. Yeah. It's rough. It's raunchy. Um, this, the paint is like. You guys can't really see. But it's more on the other shoe. The paint is coming off. They're all creased. The laces are like yellow at this point. Um. 
I don't know if you guys can see that. Like right there. And right there, the suede, not the suede, the uh, paint came off. Um, yeah, I waited in line with my friend for these, which is pretty sweet. First shoe we ever waited in line for. And we got them. This isn't the original pair we waited in line for. I got that pair off sneakers. I sold my other pair that we waited in line for. These are another pair of sixes. These are the electric green sixes. I have worn these like once or twice because I don't really wear green that much. Um, I mean, they're cool. I feel like everyone has them though. I got them for my school shoes. I also got the Racer Blue Threes as my school shoes, which really sucks because everyone got the Racer Blue Threes and these as their school shoes. So we have two more shoes. These shoes are older than me. Um, these are my favorite seven because my favorite colors are purple and red. Um, these are, as you guys can see, the back tab is not there. It's supposed to be a 23 right there. These are from 2000, so like I said, they're older than me, and they're coming unglued. I need to get that. I'm going to try to re-glue them, but every time I try to restore a shoe, it just makes it way worse. Um, yeah, I got these actually for a good deal. I got these for 35 bucks, so which they're from 2000, but sevens don't crumble. They only come unglued, so yeah. So last but not least... These are the he got or the he got games, the bread thirteens. So I got these from a local place at the mall here. They're in really good condition. They've you can't even really tell they've been worn, but like one or two times. Um, yeah, I like these. I had them when I was a kid, when I was like first grade. So, but just I feel like thirteens are kind of hard to wear. So I don't really wear them that much. So, yeah, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and see you guys later.